and it's a rainy day here in the Bahamas and we are back in my powder room because it's time for us to find out what has happened in 21 days since I started the Calypso Culture 4-Step Skin System. Wow, I got it in the first take. Awesome. If you did not know, Calypso Culture is a 100% Bahamian owned brand and it is catering to not only the Bahamas, but the Caribbean at large and the world. And I can tell you the products are based on my experience very 21 days ago I started to use the four-step skin system and I wanted to see what changes if any it would make to my skin whether that would be improvements or otherwise and I do have some things to share with you I'm gonna show you what my face looked like on the first day of using the skin system and then I'm gonna show you what it looked like on day 21 And here are my thoughts. The first thought, this is the first product. It is the Gentle Turmeric Cleanser. And I can tell you that this is a cleanser that has a microfoliant, and it's like really microscopic beads in here. So you get a little bit of exfoliation and you get some cleansing inside here. And I can tell you that I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it because I don't have a facial scrub right now and we all know that exfoliation helps to remove the dead skin cells off of the face and support and for the pores to be able to breathe and take in oxygen to keep the skin nice and healthy. What I liked about this is that it did not leave my skin feeling dry, it did not leave my skin feeling inflamed. I washed my face in um, lukewarm-ish water and honestly and truly it was so pleasant because you felt refreshed the moment that you finished washing. The second step is the Gunk Buster Facial Toner and I can tell you that this is also another really good product. Here's what I noticed about it. The first time I used it, I used it with a cotton swab and it helped me to find some additional um, makeup that I had left underneath my skin and as I continued to use it, I just used my hands and kind of put it into my skin and I noticed that again, you don't have that dry burning feeling that you get with some of the other types of toners and that's important because sometimes you feel that in order for something to be working it needs to be burning but that's not the case sometimes when it's burning it's actually taking all of the moisture out of your skin and even if you have oily skin you don't necessarily want to do that I have combination skin so my oily patches are in my t-zone and um, above here but in here is extremely dry around here and so being able to have a toner that kind of helps to balance that not only the oil production but it doesn't dry my face out is very very important and I enjoyed that the third step is the vitamin C brightening serum now vitamin C is a buzzword right now in the beauty community and well in the beauty industry and I can tell you that this one here I want to use a bit longer and I say that because when I started this I started it during my well, right after my menstrual and so during that time I normally get a bunch of hormonal breakouts um, in this area here and in my contour area which is a bit of an issue for me so I'm usually just checking to see if there's anything that I would need to be able to kind of extract sorry my dermatologist I am sorry for my esthetician but I tried to kind of um, make sure that there's nothing I had a little bit of a something um, last night there was one here and a few others and I kind of they, they were like the little black ones with the oil plugs so I was able to just kind of put my fingers there and squeeze them out and so then I did the four step skin system and this is what it looks like um, but also when it comes down to acne scarring we all know acne scarring can be horrible so all of the little um, whiteheads or the oil plugs that I had up here as well 
they can leave scars if you extract them the wrong way but if you look I don't have it I do have hereditary darkness under here I can't say I really cannot say equivocally that it brightened my under eyes but it's hereditary it's not from lack of sleep and so I'm just gonna take my iron tablets as I normally do and make sure that it stays moisturized and continue to use this because it also doesn't dry out my under eyes during the day it literally stays there forever in my opinion I'm gonna say that for the acne scarring I can see that there is a, a big difference to me but I want to continue to try it to see whether or not that is going to still be the case I haven't been using any other products honestly and truly besides these four and I really want to try the papaya um, skin scrub I think there's a papaya one that's on the side I'll put it somewhere on the screen but that's besides the point I do like the vitamin C serum now this the fix it up facial moisturizer let me tell you about this let me tell you why I really really like this outside of this absorbing so well after I would have used all of the other three products on my skin outside of this not leaving my skin greasy outside of this just making me look super radiant right this is act like a foundation primer listen to me I have used this underneath my Fenty foundation and this is the pro filter matte foundation the original foundation so we know just how that foundation can go if you have not done your skincare right I have worn this under my Juvia's Place skin stick my two favorite foundations I don't need a primer this stays on it is so light my foundation attaches to it it keep it can normally normally I would have kind of oil you know like oil um, you know the oil production during the day you're gonna have it we live in the Bahamas but it's not as bad as it would be um, if I was using some of my other primers and things like that and I really 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 I love that because I have a natural glow without it being watery okay and if you do makeup you understand what I'm trying to say and I do have mattifying um, powders like I use the beauty bakery powder I swear by it and I use the Fenty powder I swear by it and I recently started to, to use the Juvia's Place powders and I'm still trying those out because I realize those are extremely mattifying but I can tell you I still have that glow I don't like dewy I like my face to look matte but matte but glowy if you know you know all right because I don't like to look shiny I don't like when up in here my smile lines look oily and my nose I don't like it this hair this honestly if you only get it to moisturize your face and use it as a primer for your foundation you will be doing yourself a favor okay. Ray you did the thing Here are my final thoughts the four step skin system by Calypso culture I think it definitely is something that you should make the investment in if you have it I know some of the systems that are out now that are not vegan and that are not organic and homegrown are the ones that we kind of gravitate to because they're the ones with all of the marketing power behind them but I honestly really and truly based on my findings can say that if you have skin similar to mine and I would even dare to say if you have dry skin this system should work extremely well for you of course I would say if you see a dermatologist or an esthetician see them first ask them about the ingredients inside it I'm not a doctor but I can tell you what works for me and I can say Calypso culture hit it out of the park with this skin system it is available on their website calypsoculture.com I'm gonna be purchasing the papaya mask simply because if these work really really well I have confidence after 21 days that the papaya mask is gonna work just as well or even better for what my skin needs especially living in a tropic climate here in the Bahamas so I want to say congratulations to Ray 
Ray, you did a great job with this product and with your packaging and your branding. But of course, your quality speaks for itself. Thank you guys so very much for watching. And if you use it, just let me know. I'd be so happy to hear your thoughts, okay? Okay, now it's time for me to go get ready for work. Bye.